All right, never mind. What's going on, guys? So this is gonna be a different type of video. Uh, typically, I am <laughs> keen to doing fitness, lifestyle, whatever, all this, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. But if you guys are new to my channel, this might attract a different type of viewer. I'm doing a skincare video because I get questions all the time about skincare. Not that I have the best skin in the world, but I've had really bad skin in the past. And just a little backstory: I would show pictures but I just didn't even want any pictures taken of me because it was really bad. I had it severely in my T-zone and uh, on my back all over during high school. Really hated it, really felt uncomfortable and anybody who acts like, you know, skincare isn't important and it doesn't affect them in any way, shape or form would be lying. No matter who you are, it's going to affect you at some point in your life. You typically get, I think they said three years of acne in your life at some point or another. So I wanted to just share what I've learned over the years to take care of my skin growing up with my mom and two older sisters. I've been around a lot of kind of cosmetic and skincare and um, just kind of took in what they've done and what I've seen around and trial and error, trial and error, breakout after breakout and just you know clearing up and then breaking out again. So I'm just gonna explain to you basically I'll go from the start to a finish of a typical day, what I use for products, why I use them, and why I do the certain things that I do to try and keep my skin as clear as possible. So to start the day, typically after say cardio, I have to get in a lot of water. So the number one thing I'm gonna say is great for your skin is going to be water. Drink as much as you can. I push for about 1.5 gallons a day. Just drink water. It is healthy for your body. Your body's primarily made up of water. It clears out bacteria, dirt from under your pores. It just cleanses all the toxins from your body. Drink a lot of water. That is gonna be the main source for skin care. And just care for your body. You need water. So next up, eating healthy. So a nice clean diet, getting all your fibers in, getting nice balanced macros from protein, carbs, and fats. You gotta think after a night of say drinking or eating like shit or hitting up McDonald's late at night in the drive-thru, uh, the next day, <laughs> one or two of these puppies are gonna pop out, say what's up and let you know how, how your night went. It sucks, you know, and it's because of eating bad or drinking and all that stuff. That's gonna typically cause a breakout due to stress and due to like raising your cortisol. Yes, the front at the time, but it will affect you. So it's good to just balance that out with, you know, a healthy diet. Then you can have your breaks and your fun. So those are two, basically everybody knows that, yeah, I gotta eat healthy, yeah, I gotta drink a lot of water. So I'm going to get to the products I use, why I use them and when I use them. Just crushed a workout, smashed it, I'm covered in sweat, feel greasy, feel grimy. After my workout, what I've been doing is taking saunas. So saunas are amazing for your skin. You gotta think, a lot of Finlanders take saunas. They have immaculate <laughs> complexions. Sweats out all the toxins, taking at least a 20 to 30 minute sauna, maybe at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really good. I found my bloat has went down tons in my tummy. Holding water, holding sodium, that has all went down completely. Next step is going to be a shower. You need to clean off all that sweat, all the dead skin cells, everything. So this is Coco Bella's Coconut Scrub Soap. So like I said with Coco Bella's, some of the best coconut products I've ever used because they use everything to do with the coconut and they use it in such a clean, organic process that you actually get the benefits of what you're paying for. So for this coconut scrub, this is gonna act as an exfoliant. So it's really important to exfoliate and especially after a sauna when all these dead skin cells are kind of hanging out on your body. Pretty gross. I use this maybe three times a week or after most of my saunas, I'm gonna do it every night. It's not a rough exfoliant, it's not crazy, so you can use it every day. Four or five different scents, this one here, is lemongrass and it's very organic very clean it's not really the scented it's a really natural scent I'm using the cinnamon I'm using the cinnamon rent I can't say cinnamon I'm using the cinnamon one in the shower right now love it it's all coconut meat too and the organic oils are going to release after it's lathered up in your skin and constantly hydrate after so next up, you wanna moisturize your body. So any any type of dry spots on your body, uh, if you have dry skin, say elbows, knees, whatever. With me, it's a lot of my tattoos, I find get dry in different areas. So guys, if you have a lot of tattoos or you have new tattoos or you just need a moisturizer, period. Coco Bella's organic extra virgin coconut oil cold press. This little jar will last a while because it's very, very potent, spreads out very well. Use it for cooking, use it in your hair, use it on your skin. The benefits are endless with this. You can get a jar, double 
regular size for say five bucks in the store. They say it's cold pressed when it's not. They lie to you, I'll explain why. Literally every other company does is when they say it's cold pressed, they actually heat the coconut up first. That's the first thing they do, it's not cold pressed. They heat up the coconut first to separate the water from the meat and they use the meat as their actual product they sell. So that's their main money maker is gonna be the coconut meat for food. They add oil after, then they cool it off and tell people it's cold pressed. So what they do after they cool it off and tell you it's cold pressed is they press it to separate the meat from the oil, but you lose the ingredients from the initial heat up. So you're not getting full nutrients you can get from coconut oil or the actual full benefits that they tell you this oil is gonna provide for you. What Coco Bellas does is grind up everything together and then extract the oil with all the nutrients involved without any heating and then they use all the extra products such as the meat for the scrubs, lip chop, all the other stuff that they have. They even use the shell for a nice little soap holder in the shower. Check it out guys. I'll put a link in the description for this. One of the best moisturizers I've ever used for post tattoo care. So for you tattoo lovers, check it out. It's well worth your money. So next up on the docket for skincare, body's taken care of. That's done. Now it's the important thing. Now it's the money maker. We gotta get our face cleared up clean. So the first step I'm going to use is a cleanser. So I don't actually have the bottle of the cleanser as I ran out and I threw it out before I was planning to make this video. Pretty pissed off about that, but I'm going to put a picture up. It is Falorga. It is the best cleanser I've used. It is a foam cleanser. It's so, so, so clean, gentle, unscented. You just feel so clean. Take my word for this. It is hands down the best cleanser I've ever used. You're initially gonna clean your face, you know, maybe one to two pumps of this. It's gonna really clean off your face and then rinse off with warm water. And then you're gonna pat your face to dry. Make sure you pat, you don't rub so you don't irritate the skin around. A lot of people make that mistake where they rub their face dry. I used to do it all the time. Pat to dry, be gentle. Your face is gentle, you know? I'm a big man talking about a gentle face. So I've just come to terms with it. You gotta care for your face. So next up is going to be a micellular cleanser. So this is actually a toner. So toning is something that I looked past. I never even knew what it was. So toning is one of the most important steps to your face nighttime ritual, we're gonna call it. This is a micellular cleanser by Origins. It is a mega mushroom skin relief, it's called. This is new. I've used toners before. This toner, I've really, really liked. It feels very natural, very, very clean. Basically, you're gonna put this on a cotton swab, you're gonna spray a little bit, and you're just gonna rub it around your skin. And kind of minimize your pore and shrink and close everything up. It basically is that final cleaning and closing after the cleanser. Cook, cook, cook. So cleaning, closing after the cleanser, you, you'll see it on the pad sometimes if there's a good spot that you missed or whatever, or if you're in your neck or something, you'll see it and you'll see what it takes off and then you're like, oh, this is what it does. So you'll know. So after you're done toning, moisturize. So this is a moisturizer that I'm using now. I will show you two options of moisturizers. This is gonna be one that you can use during the day. You can use it twice a day, say morning or night. This is the Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Soothing Face Cream. So these are all very soft and gentle for any acne prone skin or ones that are very sensitive to breakouts like mine. And it's not heavy. It's not really heavy so you don't find it clogs your pores or anything. I want to get to this. Florga, this company again is amazing. This is the Sleep in Peel. So this is a strictly nighttime kind of moisturizer slash rejuvenating cream. I discovered this maybe last year and I haven't looked back since. This is hands down my best nighttime moisturizer. You apply it from your T-zone and spread out just little pea-sized dabs on your fingers after your hands are clean and after you've done your whole cleansing routine. What this does is rejuvenates any discolorations, um, minimizes pores, minimizes dark circles, brightens your skin night after night after night. Uh, it basically replaces your skin cells. It just rejuvenates everything. Think of it just like the new ones coming in, the old one comes out. It helps with acne prone skin. Check it out guys. So we have here by Origins again is their charcoal mask. So I've been using this for about three years. Their Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. So it is not a peel off mask. You're gonna use this maybe once a week. Beginning of the week, you can exfoliate your skin. I don't have an exfoliant here. I stopped using exfoliants. I just stuck with that gentle cleanser because exfoliants are too tough on my skin. Like I said, sensitive skin, I can't even exfoliate really. So uh, I typically use the cleanser and I'll use this mask. Pulls everything out of your T-zone, pulls all the little blackheads out, pulls all the dirt, 
the extra dirt that is really deep down and it kind of brings everything to the surface. So be sure to moisturize after you use this mask. You leave it on for about 20, 25 minutes. So put warm water on a face cloth and you're just gonna dab it off. You can cleanse after and then be sure to moisturize. So a really good mask guys, check it out. So one of the last two things here guys, one is gonna be the most important thing because everybody hates breakouts and the one stubborn zit that comes out you need to get rid of after one day or two days. This is my secret weapon by La Roche-Posay. My mom showed me this like maybe over three years ago because I had issues. I'm like, I need to get rid of this. I had a date or something, you know what I mean? I thank her all the time for showing me this because it has saved my ass. I bring it everywhere. Spot treatment, so it's got this little nozzle here and you literally use tiny, tiny little maybe pinhead size and you'll apply it to the spot that's affected two to three times a day. Start at the beginning of the day, get up, find that zit, apply it after your hands are clean and your face is clean for sure. And you can keep doing that throughout the day. It really dries out the zit and I found that really important when it comes to zits is drying it out, but not drying it out too much because then you'll just have like dry skin there. Really, really amazing active spot treatment. Check it out guys. And lastly, for the guys with sensitive skin. So guys can act like they don't give a shit about skin. They do. So if you like this video and you enjoy it secretly, good. I'm <laughs> glad I can help you out. So this is Clarins Men Shave Ease. So I have really sensitive skin, like I said, for the millionth time. When it comes to shaving, it's bad. So shaving has always been very, very tough for me. I always break out after shaving. Not since I've been using this. So this has been about a year, maybe two years using this product. A few pumps in the hand, and it's a type of oil that you apply over your cleansed skin. It basically creates this slick little layer on top of your skin, it creates that really clean, clean shave. You're gonna put your shaving cream over this product and over your skin still, and then you shave as normal. But you'll find it really glides, it's super smooth, and you catch all of your hairs. Zero redness after, and zero irritation. Check this product out, well worth your money if you are sensitive to shaving. So guys, this is my first kind of skincare product haul. This is really different for me. So uh, I really hope you bared with me and enjoyed the video. If I was a little repetitive or if I didn't clarify enough or if I didn't say enough about the product, please comment below and ask me more. I am more than happy to write and help you guys out with any extra questions or anything I might have missed. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and checking it out and even wanting to see a video like this. It was fun for me to make and I really love that I can spread something that affected me so deeply as a kid, um, such as skincare, you know, to the point where I was skipping school and, and it was affecting my friendships and how I was and just mentally, it was, it's tough. Skincare sucks. It's a hard one. So I really hope this can all help you. I'm going to put the links and the names for all the things that I've mentioned in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to smash that like, hit subscribe. See you next time.